Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over a few things. First, I'm going over the promo leaked reveals and animations, as well as the new heavyweights for Wildcard Wednesday. So stay tuned for all that, guys. But before we do get into the video and go through everything, head on down below, like the video. Always use code Poodle at MuttCoinBank down below, guys, for super cheap coins. Subscribe and turn on that nudie bell. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, let's get into this video, guys. We have a few things to go over. Now, as you guys do know, it's Wildcard Wednesday, so that, that does mean we're getting dropped today, right? Today's drop's heavyweights. Yes, heavyweights are way more enticing than the beginning of the year. At this point, they're kind of just um, a content drop at this point, right? So, we, we don't really look forward to it as much as we used to. I, I get that. Speaking of heavyweight, look at the song. just started playing heavyweight. It's funny. But, um... As you guys know, there's been a few little issues with uh, Wildcard Wednesday recently, like in terms of trying to get the uh, get the stuff. Like you, be, people were opening up Rising Star packs, and the players weren't there. Hopefully, the heavyweight, um, you know, training pack is working, so you guys can you know have a chance of pulling them and stuff. But besides that, let's go check out the animations first. I feel like it's a little more exciting, and then we'll head back to the heavyweight stuff after. So we're on Mutt Leaks Twitter page. If you guys don't know Mutt Leaks um, Twitter account, that pretty much leaks and mud information. So we have a few to go over. So we have the Blockbuster High Reveal. Now, if you guys don't know. Blockbuster promo is one of the more exciting promos that I've been waiting for to get back in up for quite a while now. So this is one I've recently talked about. Now let's watch this one a few times. So as you guys can see right here by the Blockbuster animation, pretty cool. They have the Blockbuster like the, uh, the you know, the, the movie strip. That's pretty cool. I really like this. I hope they do actually bring this animation. Sometimes I feel like they have it sitting in the archives and they just decide later on if they have enough time to actually do them. We don't know. But guys, this could be a pretty big summer of promos if we do get some of these. Now Blockbuster would be fun. Animation school. I really don't know what's going on there, though. It kind of looks like a Dragon Ball, to be honest. But, oh, it's oh, a camera. It's a camera lens, right? It's a camera. Camera lens opening. Yep. Okay. That's really cool. That's a cool animation right there. We have a few more. That we have Golden Ticket High Reveal. Or Golden Ticket Reveal in general. I check this one out. Um, it's okay. I think last year was cooler. This one's, this one's cool. But I think last year was a little bit cooler. Still, still like cool animation though, nonetheless. You know, gold makes the card gold, opens up. But last year was pretty cool. Like, really tough to beat last year's golden ticket animation. That was one of the better animations I've seen in a while. Um, you know, the potential combat animation we're supposed to have this year. That's really, that's really dumb. They had that super cool combat animation. They didn't give it to us. What I find funny, right? They said that they didn't drop in the combine because they had an all rookie promo. So explain to me why was there a super cool combine animation ready? None of it adds up. I don't know if they're lazy. I don't know the reason for it, but I'm not. It's not cool, nonetheless. But there's a golden ticket one. Let's move on to the next one. We have the old Untitled Space Program Elite Reveal. I don't know what that would be. That's new to me. But that is a super cool animation. I don't know how they were doing outer space promo. That'd be cool though. They were kind of like alien cards, like um, you know, with like infinity backgrounds, kind of like that like Baby Pluto album cover kind of stuff. That'd be pretty cool if we had cards like that. I don't know how that would drop. I don't know how that would work. I've never experienced a promo like that, so I really can't give too much insight on that. But that's another cool promo animation right there. As we're going down, we have off-season uh, three out of three. This looks kind of like a flashback promo. As you guys like, kind of like flashbacks. Uh, maybe like a, a retro, retro promo because you guys can see here that the uh, that like little pixelated is like an old tele uh, television screen. Again, pretty cool. I mean. How many of these will we actually get? If we got all of them, it'd be a pretty banger Madden summer. But I'm not confident that we would get all of them, of course, because you just know how that works in Madden. Happened yearly. Off-season 2 out of 3 reveal. Um, again, looks very retro-y. Like, no, that kind of looks futuristic now. That kind of looks like like some Fallout first scene kind of stuff. I don't, I don't really know what to think of that. That's definitely interesting as well. Not sure what that is. We have off-season 1 out of 3 reveal. Let's check this one out. Um, 21. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm lost now. The retro one was a bit easier. Like, like Madagascar, like, kind of looks like zebras there. Like, I, I really don't know what that could be. Um, there's going to be, again, off-season, one out of three, two out of three, three out of three. I don't know what that is. We have the Easter promo right here, which actually, I, I do, I'm pretty confident that we will actually get this one because this one we usually do get. That's pretty cool animation. Easter bunny, some eggs, some baskets. That's pretty cool. I, I, I can do that animation, honestly. One of the better ones we've seen so far. Um, that's uh, Easter promo again. Not going to be dropping in the near future. Not too far away at this point. Definitely cool. Easter promos are a staple them up for quite a while. Hope they do, hope they bring back some Easter egg hunts and some cool Easter egg level stuff because that's always been part of the cool stuff of the Easter promo. We have a titled space promo reveal as well. Another one. So this one's the, okay. So I think the other one with the galaxy is probably a high level one. It's probably like a low level uh, space untitled space promo reveal. It's pretty cool as well. 
Then, of course, we have the Blockbuster reveal, which we've seen already, but I guess this is a different one. There's a low one. There's going to be a low one just for the camera. And then the other one had the, uh, the movie strip, which is probably the high one. But yeah, that's about it. So we have the Blockbuster reveal low, Space Promo reveal low, Easter reveal, Off Season 1 of 3, Off Season 2 of 3, Off Season 3 of 3. And of course, we have Untitled Space Program Elite reveal. We have Golden Tickets, and we have the Blockbuster High. Definitely some super cool promo stuff right there. I really do like that. That's about it. Let's get back to the, uh, the Madden screen so we can go over the heavyweights. All right, so first we have Shaq Mason. I'm going to do him on here because obviously, you know, I'm not dealing with them not being up on the block. That's always frustrating. But Shaq Mason, uh, right guard, 95. New England Patriots. Let's see. Let's check him out. He's got 89 strength. Pretty low for a right guard. That's a heavyweight as well. 94 awareness, 95 pass block power. Pass block. 94 pass block power. 93 run block. Pass block finesse. 95 run block. 96 run block power. 94 run block finesse. Uh, pretty well-rounded card. Powered up and chemmed up, you can get probably maxed out run blocking if you go that route, or even pass blocking. Um, pretty good card. Not horrible. Wish the strength was a little bit higher, though. Next, we have D Ford, left end for the 49ers. 87 speed, 90 excel, decent. 84 strength, bad. 90 tackle, decent. 95 player X, good. 90 block sheds, decent. 90 power move, decent. 96 finesse moves, really good. So powered up and chemmed up. With 99 finesse move, we will get a 90 speed. Decent all-around card. Wish the blocks was a little bit higher. You know, nothing too crazy on this card. Not going to be some meta card, but on a 49ers team team, I can see him finding a role. Anthony Sherman, fullback for the Chiefs, and apparently he can also be on a Cardinals team. I actually did not know who's on the Cardinals. Powered up and chemmed up. He could be decent. You know, he can get 80, uh, 87 speed, 87 uh, strike, 96 awareness, 96 carrying, 80 catching, 94 run blocking, 96 lead blocking, 95 impact blocking. If you do use a fullback, guys, he's one of the best, right? If you put some blocking on him, he will get close to like 99 blocking all around. He's going to be a really, really good blocker with decent enough speed now getting up to an 87 to actually kind of keep up and maybe get out in front and lead block a little bit. So that Anthony Sherman is not bad at all. Rob Havenstein, Havenstein, uh, however you say it. Right tackle for the Rams. Uh, he has 88 strength, 96 awareness, 96 pass block, 94 pass block power, 96 pass block finesse. Also has 96 run block, 95 run block power, 96 run block finesse as well. Very similar to Shaq Mason, literally almost to a T, just no power up. Again, strength a little low. Overall, they're going to be a very well-rounded card. If you can get him for cheap enough, not a bad budget lineman, considering. Eddie Goldman's going to be our final one, defensive tackle for the Bears. Uh, he only gets the 63 speed guys and 78 excels, so he's going to be a pure run gap stuffer. That's it. Like, He's not going to be a great pass rusher, just because, again, yes, he has 92 strength, 96 tackle, which is good, 94 play rec, 96 block shed, 91 power move, 70 finesse move. Now, the power move is good. He, he may get off a block, but he's so slow that, honestly, if there's a left guard that could pick him up, like, Let's say he sheds off the center or the left guard. There's a chance that another lineman could slide over and still get him. Because again, like if it's like, let's say you have a super fast lineman, like a, um, a Ricky, Ricky Jackson doing it. When they do it, the thing with him is that he's so fast that once he sheds off, like he's gone. He's in the beeline to the quarterback. That quarterback has like half a second to move that ball. It's going to be an accurate pass or a throw out a sack, right? Eddie Goldman, if he gets off the shed first off, with the speed he's coming at, quarterback could probably back up, still make the throw run outside the pocket make your throw and sometimes if the left guard is you know uh not picked up on anyone just like standing there kind of just protecting he could always slide over to him and get him next so that's kind of been the issue with guys that slow so he's gonna be a pure run stuffer now um yeah you guys that speed that's the only thing is like when you're 63 speed you might shut off the guy but when you're running at the quarterback that speed you're coming at quarterback even without escape artists can just run away from you or just throw away the ball before you can get him under pressure kind of why people like faster guys in the interior because they do get loose the interior guys can get free sometimes and without the speed, they're really not that useful, uh, sadly. But yeah, that's about it, guys. That pretty much wraps up today's video that covers all the heavyweights and the animations. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Like the video. Comment down below. If you need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank. Super cheap. Use code Poodle at checkout. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.